So she actually ended up with £112,000. I am Grace Gorsden. I am the Eyes Deputy Money Editor and I also run the Saving Grace uh, consumer column. Over the past year, uh, 2023, I saved just around £131,000 for readers who got in touch with various problems. While looking at what I thought was a Martin Lewis affiliated website, I noticed a deal with Credit Suisse for a fixed rate two year savings account offering a return of 2.2%. I rang the number advertised, and the people I spoke to on the phone seemed very professional. I decided to transfer £100,000, but when I heard nothing about my savings, I started to worry. I rang the number, and after making more calls, it was obvious I'd been scammed. At this time, I was feeling particularly vulnerable. I'm 74, had lost my husband the previous Christmas, and it was the first anniversary of his passing after 48 years of marriage. Can you help? So yeah, this was a really sad story actually, one of the saddest ones I've had from readers over the years. Um, it was an elderly woman who was looking to put her £100,000, which is a large sum of money, um, into, um, at the time, 2.2% seemed like a high interest savings account. Now, with high interest rates, we were used to much higher rates, but at the time, 2.2 sounds pretty good. But also not good enough that you would think this is unbelievably fantastic. It could be a scam. And as we know, Martin Lewis is huge and any time that he pops up, people tend to follow what he says. He often will say, my face, my name is being used to promote mm. a product or is coming up as an advert. And this is certainly not endorsed by me. Um, you'll know if it's endorsed by me or go through the official channels. Um, Lloyd's, her, her main bank, um, she immediately went to because they facilitated the transfer in the first place and said, uh, can you help me? Um, I This is a scam. You helped transfer the money. Surely you can track it. Um, essentially, uh, to cut to the chase, they said that they couldn't help her and that that money was lost, even though it was a scam, uh, a very clever one at that. Um, this is when she got in touch with me, very upset, didn't really know what, what further steps she could take. Um, I spoke to Lloyd multiple times and said that this was completely unfair that they weren't her helping her. They can't have done the correct checks in the first place because if they had, they would have noticed that mm. the bank it was going to was not Credit Suisse, as so yeah. claimed. Um, after much toing and froing, they eventually um, agreed that they had not acted in the way that a bank should. They gave her back the £100,000 plus 8% interest and I believe a couple of thousand pounds in compensation. So she actually ended up with £112,000 as opposed to the 102000 she would have got wow. if it was actually in this uh, fake savings account. So ultimately, That's it amazing. was a good result, but it doesn't really make up for the emotional turmoil and stress that she went through in that period before mm. she contacted myself. So you would advise anyone be cautious effectively. Don't just believe in Martin Lewis's face. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Martin Lewis. Um, but yeah, absolutely. I think people need to do their research. They need to speak to um, banks, financial advisors, um, even just friends and family, mm. right? Running it past someone else saying, does this look legit? Does this seem like a good deal? Mm. And as we always say, if something seems too good to be true, it most likely mm. is. Um, and yeah, it's always worth that double checking.